Thanks for staying with us. Tomorrow is D-Day for Oscar Pistorius. Judge Togozile Masipa is expected to sentence him for murdering his girlfriend, Riva Stienkamp. This is three years ago. But what are the chances of the disgraced Par Paralympian uh, serving the minimum 15 years in jail? A director and defense lawyer at BDK Attorneys, Ulrich Rue, joins me now in studio to unpack this a little bit further. Uh, good morning to you, Ulrich. Uh, is this... Are we nearing the end of a journey which you have walked literally since uh, Oscar s set foot in a courtroom? Well, technically, if uh, the sentence is handed down tomorrow and the defense feel that it's too harsh a sentence, then they could uh, appeal the sentence once again to the Supreme Court of Appeal. Um, the state would also, if they can prove that Judge Masipa made an error in law, also be entitled to appeal it. So I think uh, if wanted to make a realistic uh, um, uh, if you had to think what they were going to do tomorrow, I don't think there would be any further appeals, but one certainly cannot rule it out. Ulrich, the minimum for murder is 15 years, as I understand. What considerations would have to be made for him to get less than the prescribed minimum? Well, as you correctly point out, the minimum sentence is 15 years for a first-time murder offender. Um, if he sh uh, succeeded in showing the court that exceptional uh, uh, and compelling circumstances exist, then the court should deviate from that. Now, what these entail are factors such as the fact he's already served one year imprisonment, he's already served close to a year under correctional supervision. Um, also, of course, his disability and, and the fact that he's lived his entire life as a disabled person will be taken into account. One quick point on that. Remember that he was initially convicted of culpable homicide by Judge Masipa. The Supreme Court of Appeal then overturned that and convicted him of murder dolus eventualis, which is murder with indirect intent. Now, his legal team argued that that is not so far uh, removed from the culpable homicide conviction and thus the sentence should also be not so far removed and we'll have to wait and see whether they made an impression on Judge Masipa and whether she will deviate from that minimum of 15 years imprisonment. In your informed and legal opinion, did this defence make a strong enough case to show exceptional circumstances for the judge to deviate from the prescribed one? Yes, I do think so. I, I cannot foresee her handing down the 15 years minimum sentence. Um, of course, just the fact that he's already served one year imprisonment and also the year under house arrest uh, will be taken into consideration. And then also one point which, which also needs to be considered is the fact that the Supreme Court of Appeal also found that he acted with indirect intent and that he did not act with any hate or vengeance or malice on the night that Riva Steenkamp was killed. And those are certainly factors which need to be considered by the judge. I, I do foresee a, a period of imprisonment, uh, you know, it's pure speculation to say how long, but possibly coupled with uh, correctional supervision once again, some community service. Uh, remember that our, our courts are there uh, to sentence people and, and blend those sentences with a measure of mercy and this has been enshrined in our case law. And uh, if she can correctly do that, then, then I do not foresee him receiving the 15 years imprisonment. How soon after sentencing would he have to go back to jail? Well, if he is sentenced uh, to imprisonment, he, 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 because he's under house arrest at the moment, they would most likely give him 48 hours to report to the prison. Uh, he could also, if he elects to appeal the sentence, then apply for bail hanging uh, pending his appeal and uh, then it would just be the whole process from the beginning. He would be released until the, the appeal regarding his sentence is finalised. Or if you say if he is sentenced, is there a possibility that he wouldn't be sentenced to imprisonment? Well, uh, it, you know, there is definitely a possibility. Whether it's likely or not, one would have to wait and see. I, I don't think it's that likely. I do foresee a period of imprisonment. But um, Judge Masipa, if she finds that he did show substantial and compelling circumstances, then she will be able to deviate from that minimum sentence of 15 years. And she could hand down any sentence which she feels is just. And she, if she feels that a period of correctional supervision for five years is a just sentence, then she could very well be handing that down. Remember that her initial conviction was taken on appeal, and, and I think that would be in the back of her mind. She wouldn't want the sentencing to be taken on appeal once again. Ulrich, just very briefly <clears throat> and lastly, are we expecting that the conditions that were attached to his sentence the first time round, this is with regard to his imprisonment, will be there um, 
w with tomorrow's sentencing too. Uh, pertaining to his disability? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, of course. So, so uh, Harry and I also uh, demonstrated that during the, the aggravation um, of, of the sentence and arguing that is that our prisons are equipped to, to um, house him and, and to house a disabled person and to be able to cater for a disabled person. And that is certainly, uh, you know, it, it has been proven and, and it, it won't play such a big factor in Judge Masipa's mind, uh, you know, the fact that he won't be adequately cared or catered for in prison. I think that, that Harry Nall has proven that, you know, he, he will be treated such as any other person if he is sent to imprisonment. All right, Ulrich, I imagine that we're definitely going to be hearing more from you in the next uh, 24 hours. Of course, that sentencing uh, expected tomorrow morning, much of it happening uh, throughout the mid-morning show. So do join us uh, for that director and defense lawyer at BDK Attorneys, Ulrich Rue.